Well, as ever, the pleasure's been all yours. Oh, I'm being cheeky. It's been mine, really. You're absolute smashers. See you tomorrow from four for all requests. Enjoy Friends on Friday with Zoe tomorrow. On the way next, the brilliant Joe Wiley. Stay right there. She's en route. I can hear her. This is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. Four preschool children who were stabbed in the French Alps are now in a stable condition in hospital, according to the local mayor. Two adults were also hurt in the attack in Annecy. The suspect, who was shot and then arrested, is a 31-year-old Syrian man with refugee status in Sweden. French officials say they do not believe the incident was terror-related. Foreign Secretary James Cleverly says his thoughts are with the victims' families. We stand ready to support the French authorities in whichever way uh, we can. One of the children injured was a a British national. We have already deployed British consular officials who are travelling to the area to make themselves available to uh, support the family. Experts in the US have confirmed that the El Nino weather event that can affect weather patterns around the world has begun in the Pacific Ocean. The natural phenomenon sees warmer water come to the surface, pushing heat into the atmosphere. Richard Allen is a professor of climate science at the University of Reading. As that heat is released and distributed around the planet, the global temperatures get an extra kick of maybe 0.1 or 2 tenths of a degree Celsius. So that could mean that if this strong El Nino does take hold, that we will get these record temperatures possibly reaching the 1.5 degrees C above pre-industrial climate threshold next year. Rishi Sunak has been holding talks at the White House with the US President Joe Biden with the Ukrainian war high on the agenda. 80-year-old Mr Biden got confused over the Prime Minister's title, welcoming him as Mr President. He swiftly corrected himself, joking that he'd promoted Mr Sunak. London's Royal Docks has refused permission for a barge housing asylum seekers to be moored in East London. It's informed the Home Office that it doesn't think the berth beside City Airport 